starting. We are we are live now in the Creighton Tennis Zoom Room. This is another one of our alumni interviews. These guys all played in the late 90s, early 2000s. Some of them recruited by Coach Hubs and others by me. Um, but I'm going to have these guys introduce themselves after I give a, a little brief up. So this is, I'm going to start in my top right. I had a phone call there for a second. My top right is Pat Roth, came to us from uh, Colorado, played, I have Pat, that you played 99 to 01, and your younger sister, Christy, who I need to get on a Zoom, also played for us as well. So I will let you carry on from here, Pat, go ahead. Yeah, good to see everybody and uh, some old faces here. So uh, yeah, we are in Colorado. We just moved back right before this COVID from San Francisco. So we were out there for the last year and a half, um, just enjoying that <clears throat> Northern California and wine country. And it was my wife and I and two dogs. Um, so we moved back. Yeah, it was like about three or four weeks right before we had a quarantine. So we are glad to be back in Colorado. Been spending a lot of our time between Denver and the mountains uh, during this and working lo locally here. I, I run a work as a chief growth officer for an insurance broker in town. and um always been in, in that type of industry uh just actually started playing tennis again uh last couple of years and finally got out yesterday because i knew this was happening so i didn't know if we were going to be i kind of got the itch to go play so uh we found uh an area where they actually allowed the courts and they kept the nets up so uh we actually hit a few balls very nice good for you all right i'm going to move down one spot here uh, still on the right half. This is our large Norwegian who is now in Bangkok, China, Magnus Muller. He played from 98 to 2001. I believe you came to us in January via Hawk and Nygaard's recommendations. And uh, you ended with 94 wins, which is currently still in our top 20. Go ahead, Magnus. Okay, thank you. Top 20, huh? Uh, or 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, but uh, and I and I uh, I uh, live in um, Thailand. Bangkok is in, in Thailand, but fairly <laughs> close. Say? What did I say? <laughs> uh, you said, I said uh, China. Bangkok. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, but um, uh, it's it's super nice to see you all uh, all again. This is the sort of uh, yeah. It's this is cool. Uh, I I moved uh, or I, I when I moved back to Norway. Uh, I actually quit playing tennis fairly sort of immediately after uh, graduating. Um, and I recently, just like you, Pat, just uh, picked it up after now 18, almost going on 19 years. Uh, I picked it up uh, about a year ago and I've, I've actually played my first tournament. Uh, wow. Didn't go as well as, as before, but, uh, but it was super fun being back now. Um, but I've, I, um, uh, after graduating, as I said, I, I stopped playing tennis. Uh, I met my wife now, uh, going on 12 years being together. I have three boys, uh, oldest now uh, soon to be seven, youngest uh, 11 months. I'm still sort of in that uh, diaper, uh, diaper era. Um, but moved two years ago to, to Bangkok. I work for a, a Telenor, a telco uh, company here, uh, owned by a Norwegian, Norwegian company, and we're having a blast. This is a, a cool place to live, very, very different from, from sort of what we're used to, uh, but we're having a, having a blast. Great, and I'm assuming the, uh, the diaper era that you're in is your kids, not you, correct? <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> All right, and I got to work on my geography. All right, now yeah. we're moving. <laughs> bottom, bottom for uh, my screen is our crafty player out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I know he doesn't live there anymore because one of our former women's players told me yesterday where you live. This is David Wittick. He played from 96 to 2000. Very crafty player. Most inspirational player in 1999. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, um, it was 95 to 99, oh. but uh, that's what? otherwise correct. I wrote that down wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, David Wittek, it's 
It's great to see you guys. Um, after, uh, after graduating, I went to law school out in Colorado and uh, moved to California after that, where I practiced for, for quite a while. I was in LA for a while, and then Silicon Valley. <clears throat> uh, moved uh, to Denver about seven years ago now, and live here in Denver uh, with my wife and two daughters, who are nine and four. Um, I kept playing tennis a little bit through law school. Uh, Brandon Greenwood, who had a brief run uh, with CJ uh, Tennis, before leaving Creighton, uh, lived up in Boulder when I was there, so we would hit a fair amount. But I uh, haven't played much since then. I uh, had some disc issues in the back and some knee issues, and uh, took up golf and uh, enjoy that and get out when I can. But I'm a, I'm an attorney. I work for a big healthcare company here in town. I lead our mergers and acquisitions and procurement uh, functions there, and I'm just enjoying being quarantined. <laughs> Enjoying being quarantined. Something like that. So does the beard normal? Uh, the, 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 there is normally a form of this beard, but it is not this form. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but somehow the wife has allowed me to keep it, and I guess I'll keep it going until, uh, until we're through all this. <laughs> have a good run of Santa uh, come December. There you go. All right. Thanks, Dave. I'm going to move up here, moving on the left part of my screen, is uh, a local player. Many people will remember. I believe it was 90, 98 to uh, maybe the first part of 2000. I think he played a year and a half. Um, grad was out of Creighton Prep, so a state champion here in Nebraska. Um, and his brother Carl also played on the team. Go ahead, John Heine. Got to unmute yourself first, John. Thank you. There you go. Um, if you if you add up my brother's two years and my one year, we almost have Wittick's tenure of four years. But we're not <laughs> quite there. But I think once Wittick retired, I said, "Why am I doing this?" My inspiration was gone. But um, I anyway, almost did I'm, the same thing. Yeah, why not? Um, anyway, I've never left Omaha. I've been here. Went to law school. Got my MBA after um, undergrad. And now what I do is I put together commercial real estate transactions on the brokerage side and then do some partnership work, raising some money, buying some deals, keeping them least managed. Um, but yeah, Omaha, if you haven't been back, it's, it's come a long ways since you guys were here. We've got a few more people, a few more things to do. Maybe not right now, but uh, it's a good place. Um, I just turned 40, which some of you guys have as well. It, it's a different feeling to me. Wittick, you might look like you're a little older than 40, but hey, <laughs> it's all good. Um, I will say I've got I've got this picture. You guys have this. I've got it hanging up in my office, in my home office, and I look at you guys almost every day. So uh, well, yeah. as well, it's good to be on here. Great, thanks, John. I don't know how we haven't run into each other more often. Yeah. <laughs> we're both in Omaha. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to do that. We got to have an alumni happy hour live sometime when all yeah, this is sure. over. Um, okay, I'm moving up. This is not Boris Becker on your screen. A little bit of a look-alike, though. This is Oliver yeah, Float. Maybe not. <laughs> He's from Austria, came and played for us from 98 to 2002, was our captain. Um, 127 wins, number five still. Most valuable player in 2001 and 2002 and was a Missouri Valley Conference all-select player. Go ahead, Ollie. Well, hello, 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 hello. Um, yeah, after 2002, I, I moved back to Austria. Um, actually played quite a lot of tennis for the next 10 years or so. But since then, really haven't played anything. Oh, or anything might not might be too much, but really played not a lot. Until, um, yeah, three months ago. And, and COVID basically was, was my chance to, to start playing again because that was the only sport in Austria they would basically let you do. So, so I started picking up playing tennis again. So from, from that part, I'm, I'm back active again. Um, other than that, um, spent a few years abroad again. 2005, I moved to, to Paris, spent a year there. Then, then spent a few more months in, in New York. Eventually ended up in, in Austria and in Vienna again. And um, been married for eight years now. Have two kids, two girls, quite young. 
Um, one of them is three and a half. The other one is six month old. So Magnus, I know what you're talking about when you talk about changing diapers. It's not only my diapers, but it's also the diapers of my girls or my girl that I still have to change. And, and that's about it. Fantastic. Thanks, Ollie. All right. Last but not least, in the center here of my screen, uh, another player from Nor Norway from 96 to 2000, um, captain for a few years, 114 wins is still number seven. And he's one of only five tennis players to be uh, named the Reinhardt Scholar Athlete at Creighton. So a lot of uh, Blue Jay fans will remember the, the speech that he gave and I believe that was 2000. And he was our most valuable player for a few years as well. Hawken Nygaard doing a lot of work in uh, British Columbia now, huh? Yeah, thanks for organizing this. It's really fun to see everybody. It's it's interesting. You know, I was thinking uh, it's hard to believe it's been, what, 20 years or so since we saw each other last. And I don't think anyone's changed that much. It's like, seriously, it's like yesterday. It feels like yesterday. Anyway, um, I moved from uh, Connecticut, uh, from uh, Omaha to Connecticut. And I, I lived there for about 10 years. A bit more school for me and uh, work. And then uh, in 2014, we uh, moved to Vancouver. That's Canada, Tom, just, uh, just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we love it here. It's a, it's a great place to live. A lot of outdoors activities, so we're pretty active. Um, I got married in 2011, and we have two boys. They're uh, eight and six. And I've played sort of... Um, um, you know, intermittently ever since college. Uh, my kids play a lot, especially the oldest is sort of in a, in a bit of a competitive program here. So I play a lot with the kids. It's not quite the same, but uh, I always want to get back into it. But I've been saying that for 20 years now, so we'll see what happens. But still having a lot of fun with it anyway. Great. That's it. And, uh, <laughs> the scary part about these interviews is uh, you guys – can uh, give me a hard time now because I can't make you wake up at 6 a.m. and run hills anymore. Like I wish I could. <laughs> By the way, I, I would have to say it's the uh, it's the Norwegian National Day today. I, I assume all of you know that already, but uh, just want to make make that make that very clear. So Magnus and I are making a very special effort on this day. Right, Magnus? Okay. I'm, Magnus I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised that you are taking time of your morning. I mean, my sort of celebra celebration is already is already done. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, they're Canadian. They're not. They're not. Uh, my wife isn't so enthused with the boonad. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you normally do on this uh, big celebration, Independence Day? In Norway, yeah, it's a yeah. big party. It's an exciting like, day. Like our July Fourth. Yeah, I'd say it's much, it's even bigger. People get in their sort of national traditional outfits or, you know, you dress up and everyone sort of goes downtown. Um, that's a nice day. Probably everybody has like one beer because that's all they can afford. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't know about Bangkok. It's like country but, to country uh, feud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very it's a very unique day. It's hard to describe. It's kind of it, you kind of have to see it, I think, to under to really see what it means. But it's it's a fun day in in Norway. It's a fun day. I don't know elsewhere. It's sort of. <laughs> All right. I will. Sh I'm going to share the screen now, and you guys can uh, help me out with with some of these pictures I'll show because some of them are are your families. Um, of course, I did not do this like I wanted to. Once again, I'm not a professional interviewer. Here we go. There's our friend Magnus. This must have been your junior year. Wow, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't changed a bit, Magnus. See the, thing is, see, the thing is, guys, that I was, I mean, I was not the skinniest of guys when I was playing, right? And then you are. No, and then when I stopped playing, I added 10 kilo. Well, that's uh, a little more than sort of, uh, say, 25 pounds. I got super fat when I stopped playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, a, a friend of mine actually got me into cycling uh, after because he thought I was getting way too fat. So, so when, I said, when I said that I didn't, 
I didn't play very much tennis is really also because I, I did a lot of competitive uh, road cycling on sort of an amateur and a master's uh, uh, level. Uh, so luckily I was a lot skinnier <laughs> again. <laughs> now I'm sort of gaining again. Oh, you look like you're in good shape now. Mm. I didn't run you enough, that's for sure. No, that's for you, sure. You had that massive big forehand, so it ended a lot of points very shortly. <laughs> yeah. There's well, Holly. Look at this guy. Holly. Wow, Holly yeah. there. I know, that, that, that's a curious look for me. Uh, <laughs> and, and they're not ginger either, they're blonde at that point. Uh, yeah, yeah, interesting times, I have to say. <clears throat> yes. Christoph only played for a year. Yeah. Magnus was Hawkins' recruit, and uh, Christoph was Oliver's recruit. Very true. Pat and Ryan Polito. I yeah, gotta, I got to get Ryan on one of these too. There's a really good looking guy. Look at that. 30 <laughs> here. Kenny <laughs> with more hair. Yeah. Hawkin made the cover with three of the girls. Oh yeah, look at that for him. <laughs> no, the signature, the, <laughs> that is, the, that is the the signature Beckham Bali. Uh, I, I remember that, that you and Magnus played doubles, and I think you asked Magnus to not serve that hard so that you can make that backhand cross-court volley more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just some of the less, uh, the, the less good teams we played. I remember that. That was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> 99. There's Heine. He forgot to look at the picture. Yeah, yeah. I guess back then we couldn't do a redo. <laughs> <laughs> they just stuck it in the program anyways. Planker was on a couple days or a week ago. Mm, I haven't heard oh from yeah. this guy in a while. Nils I haven't heard from in a while either. Nils. <laughs> I oh I I I have to say I I'd almost forgotten him. It's it's a bit, it's been a, it's been a while. Have you do you do you have any contact with him at all? I don't think I've had any contact with Nils in a long time. Hmm. Maybe he'll watch this. I mean, this is going to be on YouTube, so there's going to be millions of people watching this. He's <laughs> famous. <laughs> this is when Hawken came. This is our first year in the Big East. Hawken came down and watched us at the U.S. Open. We played our the Big East tournament at Flushing Metal. Oh, oh wow. I'm so, I'm so jealous about that. Playing there must be <laughs> so nice. Probably well, we actually silly. voted against doing it from now on. It's just not a good team thing. Mm. Very good individual tournament place, but for teams, okay. college teams, there's, there wasn't a college atmosphere. Okay. Because your, your buddy would be playing on like a stadium court and you wouldn't even know where he was. Mm -hmm. even couldn't see him. As long as he wins, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this year did not bring back good memories at the. For Tom, our what year is this? What that year was, was that? So that was 2014. Okay. I don't know what year this is. Probably sometime around 99. <laughs> and this was in Florida. 97, Gene says. 97, yeah. Yeah. Satoshi in the background there. We see Satoshi a lot now. Once a yeah. year, once a year, I guess is a lot. Yeah, he's he's working at the USTA National Campus where we've been going. Mm. All right. Uh, Brian Kuhn. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Uh, he so he's a he's a uh, doctor in Cincinnati, and one of our girls, current girls on the team, is going to shadow him this summer. Get some experience. Oh, that's, that's cool. James Chu. Look at that yeah. specimen right up in the front there. Guy. <laughs> yeah, this this sideburn's grown a little bit, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Well, <laughs> Billy Goat thing going. Preview things to come. <laughs> nice hat, Hawking. <laughs> it's Lindell hat. <laughs> I had the worst sunburn on my neck. That's yeah, you and you and this guy you're playing doubles with Rodenberg. Oh, yeah, Brian. Uh, Brian. Has he been on one of these, Tom? Brian was on one, yeah, about a week and a half ago. And he's he's been texting me about every day since. 
<laughs> Good to get back in touch. Same with Phil. He was on one and Plank was on one and Satoshi. They were all together. This is Carl, right? Yeah. Got to get Carl on one of these too. Mm -hmm. Who's this, Aww. Ollie? That, that's my older one. That's Teresa. She's three and a half now. And I mean, that, that's one of one of the, the nice things about COVID as well, right? That um, I, I basically right now I do home office every day. So, so I, I have the chance to, to spend much more time with them and that, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Got your hands full there. And, and then that, that's the, the six month old, the, the other one, that's, her name is Rosella. Mm -hmm. Rosella. Very Ooh. nice. It's a good thing that they don't look like you, more, more your wife, right? <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, because they're, at least in my opinion, they're quite cute, so they're definitely not looking like me. Yeah, this is this is last Christmas. This is Chris and my wife and our two dogs. Uh, they look did. a lot like you, Pat. I know, right? Hey, I'll tell you, it's a compliment. <laughs> This is another photo shoot. Different parents, they, they always make us make or uh, have photo shoots every Christmas, so. Are your nice. parents still in Colorado? Yeah, yeah, they're still in Colorado. They were, they're playing a lot of pickleball. Oh, nice. A uh, little bit of tennis. Um, I actually saw them yesterday, and I told them I was jumping on this phone call, and they reminded me about it. Uh, Oliver, Christoph, and Magnus came out for Thanksgiving to Colorado. We drove. Hmm. Um, and I remember they were so surprised Eastern Colorado didn't have mountains yet, and I kept promising the mountains. <laughs> we finally saw them. I can't remember if we went skiing or not, but we had a we, good we did, couple of days. We did go to Boulder, yeah. And I mean, seriously, though, I mean, it's like a six hour drive, and, and everybody hears about Colorado and the Rockies, and it's all being so exciting. And then, and then you finally get through Nebraska, and, and you're expecting the mountains, and then just nothing. nothing. I know. I, 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 I was. I was hoping and dear hoping that the mountains would actually show up. Yeah, Eastern, that was a fun trip. Eastern Colorado on I eighty is like you're on the moon. There's nothing yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. But that was a that, that was a great trip, uh, Pat. I remember that, and I think about that trip uh, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, every time I talk or or see anything about Colorado, I think about that. So please send my regards to your your family. Uh, yeah, they family. say hello to both of you. They were, it was exciting to tell them that they 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 had all these stories. They remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Please say hi. We'll do. It's funny because we have a we have a kid on the uh, team from Colorado now, Mac Mac Meats, and he's probably brought three or four of our international guys home with him on Thanksgiving as well. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Continuing on the tradition. Uh oh. It's wet. That's that's me. That's that's the beard in its normal state. <laughs> so, uh, my wife, uh, Christiana, my older daughter, Bella, is nine, and the little one, Emmy, is four. Very nice. Mm. Yeah. That's my wife and I again, out in California last year, half moon day. Cool. Mm -hmm. Vacation, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah. And this is... Uh, what I do more of now than, than play tennis. Usually is this not. your golf ball down here? Yeah. yeah, I'm getting old. I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I didn't have the glasses with me that day, so. <laughs> oh, we're back. We don't want to see that one. I think that's it. Yeah, we're back through everything. Everything that I was given. All right, we'll go through just a few matches here. Tried to pull up some, some decent ones. Oh, big win at number seven there for the team, guys. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a good win over Denver. At Air Force. Yeah. At Air Force. We uh, Air Force. That was always difficult to play. That was hard, yeah. You guys, you don't come out here anymore, do you, Tom? Uh, we, we, we were scheduled to this year. We played Air Force here in Omaha the past two years and had really close matches that we were fortunate to win both of them 4-3. And uh, so we were scheduled to go back there 
in late late March, actually a week after our season got canceled is when we were headed to, to Air Force. So we'll be back in the next few years, I'm assuming. This was in Daytona. Easy win for Magnus. <laughs> Seven, six. Yeah. Man, lumbered around the court for a long time that day. <laughs> I'm surprised I lasted that long. <laughs> I think we were all pretty hungover. If I, uh, or maybe not. We shouldn't. <laughs> well, no, oh, of course not. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> those were good. Those were good trips to Florida. <laughs> Don't give I'm any of our you, current players any ideas. Those are the ones we, we came out on top, huh? What's that? You've only chosen the ones where we came out on, on top. <laughs> well, that was kind of the, the point, I guess. Yeah. I, there might be one in here that's not. We'll see. Cloth Heine. Yeah, that's the doubles I want to see. Conference match? Yes. Cloth Heine. <laughs> Magnus, you and I were doubles in the last one. I don't remember that. It's probably short-lived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was never the biggest the doubles player. This is cool. I haven't looked at this or anything like this in a very long time. Yeah. Evansville, so another four three win there. I actually remember that one. That was my first year and that was I think two weeks before conference and, and I rolled my ankle and, and oh, yeah. I wasn't even sure if I could play the conference tournament. Mm. I think the re rest of us remember how uh, much you had to get your ankle taped and how uh, smelly your foot was in the van when you were getting that ankle taped up. Oh, you, you must be confusing me with somebody else. My <laughs> feet never smells. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Can you guys imagine? I lived, I lived with him. Uh, I, I, I so did Pat. <laughs> yeah, I think I lived a couple months with you three. <laughs> and then Ollie for a while. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is 99-2000. You zoom in here in Providence. So we're they're in our conference now, but they don't have men's tennis anymore. Mm. And this guy's son was the first person I coached against uh, when we joined the Big East in Providence. But he's not there anymore. I two. So where was I? Was in Phoenix. James Chu. Big, best vertical of anyone I've ever seen. <laughs> right. Yeah, he could jump. He had the Sampras jumping overhead down. <laughs> Conference match against Southern Illinois, always a big one. So they don't have men's tennis anymore, neither does Evansville or Northern Iowa and mm. a few others, Missouri, Missouri State, unfortunately. Yeah. So there is no Missouri Valley Conference for men's tennis right now. Really? Just, I, yeah. It's a shame. Only, only Wichita State and Drake still have men's tennis. Wow. And us, but yeah. Yeah. Rockers. Kendall Hale is actually at UNKC now. So I see, I still see him every year. Let's see. Move on. Oh, oh. 2001. Well, there's one that we lost. Kansas. Oh, oh wow. That up there. Oh. <laughs> I remember that this one. Is, this is a killing. Wait, did <laughs> I lose the tiebreaker 14 to 12? What? You were, you were playing the number 11 guy in the country there, Magnus. Yeah, wow. that's probably why they know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you could have done better than that, though. You were down in the 20s, right, Magnus? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. St. Louis. Magnus, another close one there. Jesse Plody actually uh, graduated. He, he became the men's coach at Bradley for, I think, four years. Hmm. Does he still have that two-hand forehand? Yes. Oh, I'm sure he was an intense coach. Ooh. <laughs> he did a good job there. 
Yeah. I remember playing with him. What's he do now? Indiana State. He's, uh, where does he live in Wisconsin now? Okay. I believe he's, I believe he's teaching tennis up there. Do any of you guys uh, talk to Matt Tate? I've lost track of him. No. Mm -mm. I don't think he what played. He only here? played two years, maybe. He was from he was from Texas, right? He like I transferred think, in, didn't he? No, I think he 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 played. Yeah, he transferred in, and then didn't he like stop for one year, and then started again, or something like I, that? I don't think he finished at Creighton. He he might have finished school, but I I don't know. To tell you the truth, I can't remember now. I just remember it's a short time period. What about Pierre, our Canadian friend? I haven't heard from Pierre in a while. I'm assuming you guys haven't either. Nah. All right, last one here. That's what it is. So 2002. Playing at Northern Iowa. Those courts are always tricky with the yellow lights indoors. Yeah. This is a big win for Holly because I think this guy beat you the year before. Really good. Player. I don't think so. You must have misremembered. I, I, <laughs> him, I actually, I'm, I'm friends with on, on Facebook. He, I think he's, he's, he's still a coach or something like that. Yes. Yeah, I've been in touch with him kind of off and on throughout the years. I'm not sure where he is right now, but well, there you have it. So, uh, any memories you guys have or other people you keep in touch with? You keep in touch with anybody from the women's team? Yeah, so I live uh, in the same neighborhood as Holly Ben Blummel, now Clark. Our kids are in the same school, so I see her once in a while. Um, Rainer used to be out here. She moved out to Western Colorado a couple years ago. Um, that's, that's about it on my end. How about you, John? I see my brother quite a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll, see him, I'll see him at dinner tonight. I'm not just cooking and we'll all go over to her house. But he's got two little kids, um, six and five. He's married. He's an anesthesiologist in town. And uh, he's doing pretty well. Um, I check in with Bertino every great now and then. He's in Dallas as an anesthesiologist. So he's, Tim? He's Tim or Tom? Good. Tim. Tim, okay. Um, I think Tom actually was down there too for a long time. But... Um, Trying to think of other people. Um, that's a good question. Okay. Ollie, I'm assuming not too many. Although you bumped uh, into Angus in the middle of the street one day. Yeah, I, that was, as I, I told you before, that was really random. It was in, in London and I, I, I was like, I was such, a, it was such a strange situation because I was like, it virtually isn't possible that I'm going to run into somebody I haven't seen for 15 years on the streets in London. And, and I mean, I was like, Magnus, is that you? And and before, like, we were really able to to talk to each other. Both of us had to part again. But uh, I mean, now now thinking back, I, I I we should have had a beer at that point. But oh well. Yeah, That's amazing. Yeah, I mean that is pretty cool. Just yeah, uh, Oliver came, just came up to me on the street. I think it was in Notting Hill or something in the yeah. In the, in the, it just, like what the Bella Road was it? <laughs> yeah, but, but that is that is pretty cool. But I'm I'm actually uh, I'm actually pretty stoked about this uh, this and the, the emails you send out, uh, Tom. And it's it's super cool to see you guys again. So it, it would really be nice if we could so, somehow stay in touch. If it's either through through email or meet up like this once in a while. I mean, absolutely, that would be that would be cool. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, but but I have to admit, I mean, I haven't had any contact with uh, with people from from Creighton, uh, even, not even with with Hawken, which I think is just uh, super cool. I mean, he looks exactly the same as he used to when I when I grew up with him and played. Right, right back at you. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, this would be super nice if we could sort of at least uh, once in a while meet up like this. I'm working okay. on uh, potentially doing a, like a happy hour once in a while where we get on Zooms. Of course, it'll be different times <laughs> being mm -hmm. spread all over the world, but uh, you'll just have to keep following my emails. And, and getting back to that, those where are they now segments that I have in my emails. Yeah. If you have not sent one of those, send me in one of those because I'll, I'll be needing more of those eventually. And people love them. They're people really like cool. Kitchen. And these old time ones uh, recently are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I've gotten a lot of responses from that. Who's this, Ollie? 
That's Teresa. Can you Hi, say Teresa. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. That's good English. Teresa. No more. I'm going to say that. My name is Teresa. My name is Teresa. Oh, yeah. Hello, Teresa. Yeah. So is she, is she Hi, learning English? Hey. And that's my wife, that, that's Katarina. Hi. Hi. You must be a saint. <laughs> this is the... The semblance? No. Oh. Uh, the, the Hellington. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, she, she actually wanted to just say that she is a saint. Um, I think they oh, have to leave well. now. I, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. Ha, can, ha, can you got to tell people a little bit more Bye. about what you do now? Uh, yeah, I, uh, so I'm a neurologist. So I, um, I, I went, I specialized in neurology and then I subspecialized in dementia. So, um, you know, I, I basically evaluate. So part of my work is clinical. So I see patients with Alzheimer's disease and those types of things. And uh, I do a lot of research. So we have a lab and um, you know, I play around with stem cells and things like that. That's that's my day job. Yeah, because I you had tried to avoid me by not returning emails and not or not giving me your new email. So I had to Google Hawk and Nygaard and there's a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> he probably just didn't remember. <laughs> no, I don't know what email you sent to, but I didn't get any of your emails. But um, <laughs> anyway. No, it's great. I agree with Magnus that it's great to be, uh, this is a great initiative. And like the happy hour thing would be, it'd be fun to include some of the other guys too in a bigger sort of thing. Cause you know, for sure. It's, uh, yeah. It's nice well, to in, see everybody. In, in trying to do this is difficult because I get some people that were only on the team for one year with a senior maybe, but they were on the yeah. same team of four other guys. So it's when I, when I started, I didn't realize how kind of awkward or confusing it could be at times to do that. And I can't get oh, to my office right now to find out different records. It's just I'm kind of introducing you guys with what I have uh, in my computer, which is not the whole history of Creighton Tennis. But. So how are you, Tom? How is your family and kids? And do they play tennis? They do not play tennis. They, they did a little bit because Gene and I still teach at the same country club in the summer, Oak Hills. Uh, so when they were younger, they would come to our clinics and play in them. But they're, you know, my, son's, uh, my son just finished his freshman year at Creighton. Mm. So he was in Kiwit fourth floor. <laughs> All right. Scary to think of. <laughs> and my does, daughter does Gallagher finished. still exist? What's that? Does Gallagher still exist? It, it does. They keep threatening to uh, take it down and put something else up in its place, but they haven't done it yet. Wow. That's where I was too, Ollie. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I mean, I was expecting that place to be gone like the year I left, but oh well. You guys, uh, so that's another thing that you need to try to do. Is that we, we'll, we'll have another reunion, probably not for another year or so. Um, but that would be so good to see. I think the last time we had a reunion was probably 10 years ago, and we had probably 30 people show up, and it was, it was tremendous to see people. And, and now you guys wouldn't recognize the campus. I mean, John, if you've been on campus, you can tell them it's uh, totally different than it used to be. Yeah, no, it's, it's really something. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys remember the Creighton Hospital, too. That shut down. Now that's 730 apartments, and there's a bridge that connects it to the inter over the interstate to the to the mall. It's wow. They spend the money. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. And, and the athletic department, the weight room, the you know, you guys were, you guys were in the uh, basement of the old gym, and the study hall was right below the basketball bouncing, you know, the old gym where you had to listen to a basketball and guys flying around a basketball court while you tried to study. Our study hall uh, area is amazing right now, and and the training room and the strength and conditioning it's it's incredible. Well, luckily we were also smart that we didn't have to study. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> that would be great, Tom, group. if we could get back for reunion. We're, I've been itching to get back to Creighton, so it's been a long time since I've been in Omaha. Yes, well, we'll we'll do one. I've had a lot of people ask me about that. I I I don't know if it would be in 2021 that we'd be able to do another one. Yeah. 22, I would hope for sure. So I'm, I'm going to, uh, again, just uh, thank you guys. We'll stay on for a little bit after this, but thanks for coming back on. It's It's been incredible seeing you guys again. I haven't seen some of you guys for a really long time, and you guys are all 
good players and great people and clearly you were uh, good in the classroom too because you're all very successful now so thanks for coming on yeah, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, great seeing everybody yes